Hello? Well, well, how lovely it is to see you again, my dear. There he is, just looking as crazy as ever. Welcome to my abode. Relax and soak up the atmosphere. We're actually kind of... Shh, silence! <laughs> Precisely as I expected. My voice is so much different than it was before. Zavari! <laughs> the truth has once again been elegantly revealed to me, a lawyer and a spirit medium. Am I correct? Didn't you say that? Uh, yeah. <laughs> so my estimation was correct. Zavari, how truly elegant. Do you want to go get some pizza or something? So then what can I do for you? We can talk. That would be a start. Night of the crime. Heart of the cards. You mentioned before that you were on guard all alone last night. Precisely. This is my fifth encounter with my arch enemy. I refuse to allow anyone to interfere with the rightful pursuit of my prey. Heard you've been after masks since his very first theft. Yes, my dear, I see you've done your homework. In his very first heist, that vile thief pilfered the famous jewel, the Tear of Amanon. I first encountered him in the museum's sacred hall, the crime scene itself. So that's why you were hired as security for this one, okay. Yeah, that's the thing. Borrowed some equipment from Lordly Taylor and set the perfect trap. Yep. Okay. Yeah, but eyewitness testimony is unreliable. <laughs> Memory can change the color of a, ha a house. I mean, messed up that quote. Botched it. Botched it totally. Mm hmm. Well, about that urn. Do you have it? <laughs> I'm interested in only one thing, my dear, and that is mask. Sacred urn. Psh, that has nothing to do with this case. But wasn't that what mask stole this time? Exactly. I'm a hunter, sir. The urn was nothing more than a lure to catch my prey. Do you yourselves remember the shape of the individual peanuts you throw to pigeons? Well, no, but... I know. Boy, do I ever know. Anyway, it looks like he doesn't know about the urn, so... <clears throat> Poop on him, then. So, what about this M.O. deal here? Something's kind of bothering me. Please, my dear, ask me anything you like. I don't know if you want to ask him at this point. What are you going to get? We were all the seekers wandering alone in the dark. So say it the who. Because they call me the seeker. No. That is very strange that you don't seem to know, considering you were on guard that night. <laughs> you took the words right out of my mouth, Mr. Wright. Unless you were sound asleep, you should have at least seen him. Alright. What do you know? Our first... thing. What the? It's a Cyclops! Listen up, players. If you've never seen one of these before, this is how it works. I have to present something. Hey, Nick. What is this Cyclops thing? Well, your Magatama lets me see when people are keeping secrets and eating boss guts because they're having boss guts. By breaking their mental locks, I can find out what these secrets are. You didn't know? You're wearing one. What? You don't remember? Oh, well that's right, yeah, she was. Huh. So how do you do it? How do you break the cyclock thing? Well, so you present the Magatama to the person with the secret. Okay. The question is, do we have what we need, though? Because a lot of times when you first see one of these, you don't actually have what you need. Well, first let me see what the question actually is. Mm -hmm. 
shit. I, I didn't mean I was supposed to present the thing, and I went off and brought up the dialogue box. And wasted 15 seconds of your and my time. <laughs> because he is the guy. Hmm. It seems to be encouraging me to take a shot now, so I think I'm going to. Let's get on the right screen here. Present. Here we go. Here we go. Alright, what's your modus operandi, dude? Detective at me. You were standing guard at the scene of the crime. There is no way you didn't see Mask to Mask commit the crime. Well, now I can hardly. Oh, I'm so glad they didn't change the music for this. This is just so ominous and beautiful in its own way. Yes, indeed, I was guarding the warehouse. That much is true. But I can tell you for certain that not a single person passed through that door. <laughs> so maybe he came in a different way? I'll show him some proof! I have proof! You know what? I think I actually do, because I have this here, don't I? Yeah! There was a security camera set up at the scene of the crime. Wasn't that your idea? Well, we've just been assuming that all this time. Mm-hmm. I hope you don't mind, but we've already gotten our hands on the camera data. As you can see, the camera went off exactly once last night. Oh! Caught a glimpse. Caught a glimpse of his sweating... But my monocle didn't catch anyone in its flash. Well, your monocle, I'm not sorry to say, sucks. It must be some kind of computer malfunction. It must be. Somebody probably was uploading Facebook photos and it got mixed in with them. <laughs> Maybe it was your monocle that malfunctioned. Oh. That's exactly what I'm saying, sir. Why are you trying to hide it? If he's hiding it, there must be some reason. Some reason that he desperately wants to keep hidden. And I've got just a piece of evidence that should prove it. Do I? Let's suppose you didn't manage to see Mask D Mask. In that case, the reason you didn't at that time was because you were. Oh. Okay, um. <laughs> Using the bathroom. With all the talk about cleaning toilets. I'm actually kind of thinking unconscious is probably the answer. Because someone did get bopped over the head with a sword, right? Oh. It's okay. Here, sword. <laughs> Detective Abby, you were knocked unconscious by the thief, weren't you? Ho ho ho, surely you must be joking. You think that I look at me could be knocked to so easily? The sword proves it! No, actually it doesn't, but... <laughs> but it's good. It's a good, uh, corroborating sort of evidence, I guess. That's right! So all that really proves is that somebody got hit. It doesn't prove that he did, but... There's only one explanation. You were struck on the head and knocked unconscious by the sword. Well, Detective, what about it? <laughs> I'm impressed. You truly are an ace attorney. Shebang! Get out of here. Alright. No need for a health refill because we didn't screw up at all. Yeah, that was easy, though. <laughs> I can't deny that there may be a small hint of truth in what you say. So you were knocked out when you when the thief first clobbered you? That's probably how your hair got like that. Clobber. What an ugly way of saying it, but I suppose you could put it that way. The coward struck me at the precise moment that I turned to look at the computer. So you never noticed that the thief had entered the warehouse? No, the coward must have wormed his way in through the somewhere besides the door. Perhaps the air ducts or the sewer pipes. Then my arch nemesis struck me on the head. 
from behind with this gruesome item here. Ouch. He should have his poor head examined. <laughs> I can say that again. How could he have underestimated the thief that badly? Shichishido updated in the court record. Well, looks like we got one thing cleared up anyway. Did that mean he's the greatest state detective in the world? Nope! That he never actually saw the thief. <laughs> well, I suppose. Oh, well, I suppose that's true, too. Huh? Okay. Perhaps so, but I installed a security camera for just such a contingency. Yeah, but... Mm-hmm. Do you have the picture? Here we go! Okay. Thank you! Oh, there he is. Looking stupoid. That's him. Mask de mask in the flesh and blood. This is good. This is good stuff, man. The thief can be none other than the arch criminal Mask de mask. After all, he has a very good reason for committing such a brazen crime. What are you talking about? Hmm. I thought he just wanted to pawn the stuff off for money. I mean, that's a good enough reason for me to do it. Not that I've ever done that, not that I ever would, don't worry. So what do you mean by he had a very good reason? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit these crimes. Wait, Mr. Delight? Who said anything about him? I mean, if he's, you know, pretending to be Mask the Mask and he's delusional, how would you even know about that? Or am I getting something, forgetting something again? Green envelope? You need to go and investigate. Oh! Okay, that's what I was just saying. Have you forgotten? You're speaking to the finest ace detective ever to walk in the... You may be the finest ace detective, but you know what else you are? A toilet. Like Boggy. So... Okay. Yeah... Alright. Well, I'm heading over there right now. To the witch, witch! Now that we know it's a clue, back. Examine. Here we go. Remember what Detective Abney said? Exactly that. Mr. Delight had a very good reason to dress up and commit those crimes. Unless Mr. Delight is trying to frame Mask de Mask or something. I feel like there's a, a, a really plausible story. And it's right on the tip of my tongue. Because I was reading something on Reddit about how if you had a twin brother, you could always commit any crime you wanted to and just say that your twin did it. And there's no way anybody could ever prove it. So I'm wondering if there's going to be a case like that in this game. Or in any of these games, for that matter. But anyway, that's what's, that's what I keep thinking about. I can't get that out of my head. It's just because I read that thread like three days ago. If you don't want your true identity revealed to the world, come to KB Security at 1 a.m. on October 12th and bring $50,000. What? Who? Yeah, I'll say so, but who's being blackmailed here? I didn't... Wow, nice doorbell. Someone's at the door! I'll be right back. Won't take but a second, I promise. And that's probably just the pizza guy. We should get going. Oh, thank you for coming. It's so nice of you. When I see a damsel in distress, I just can't help myself. Please, come on in. I'll make some coffee. Really? Okay, I guess I'll make myself at home, pretty lady. Wait a minute, I know that voice. What? Dude. Is it Larry Butts? Oh, Nikki boy, I'm so sorry, but I've got another guest. Ah, you, you're... Are you freaking kidding me? I was right! 
No freaking way! And what is he wearing? You know each other? Where are they? Oh my god, you gotta be kidding me. You have got to be freaking kidding me. Nick, do you and this girl have, you know, something going on? No, do you? Something? It can be what I, I underestimated you, Nick. Gorgeous lady like this. And married too. Way to go, dude. Dude, there is nothing. I knew it. Just when things can't get any worse, it's time to cue in the butts. You know, in the bathroom! Larry Butts, ever since grade school, he's been. Not exactly a close friend, but yeah, we know each other. Hey man, that wasn't nice. I was your very first client. It's been 25 years since I first met Larry. And what we used to say still rings true. When something smells, it's usually the butts. <laughs> you know it. Oh my god, I can't believe I freaking called that. <laughs> hey, come on now, you're embarrassing me. And in front of this pretty little thing here. So you two are old childhood friends, I see. That's so sweet. You two go ahead and catch up on old times. I'm gonna go check on my bike. Yeah, because, you know, those things tend to run away on you. Nice girl, that Desi. So how have you been, Nick? Too busy, if you really want to know. i move my 3DS over a little bit. My hand is resting way too far over the edge of the desk. With my stylus in tow. Huh, <laughs> alright. So what are you doing? You, you Are you, like, a police guy now? It's, 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 tell me you're not the security guard. Or, like, a security guard. Hmm. Yeah. What's with these clothes? You look, well, we He doesn't look that weird. He looks cool. Hey man, that's uncalled for. This is my uniform for my part-time job. But I can't believe it's been two years. They say time flies when you're having fun. Mm-mm. Drink time, hang on. Ha ha ha, ha ha, ha, ha. What an uncertain laugh. What's wrong, buddy? Nick, I gotta tell you. Women, I don't trust them anymore. You got dumped again. Well, you know Benifer. Benifer. You followed her. Uh, I thought you were talking about Ben Asfleck and Jennifer Aniston. Like, cause they cut. Just never mind. Caddy Tom, my whole life changed. Never heard of either of them. <laughs> anyway, dude. Caddy Tom chose Hollywood over me. Can you believe it? Well, actually... <laughs> anyway, sounds like he had quite the adventure. <laughs> Women. They're so... so... Ah! Oh, but you're different, Maya. You're not like the rest. Looks like he's still the same old Larry. The same old butts, you know? Why'd you come here, anyway? Huh? What do you mean by that? I'm just a natural born nice guy, that's all. Well, actually, I picked this up last night while I was working. A wallet? You say you found this last night? Yeah, it had a driver's license in it and everything, so I figured I'd just return it myself. And it's Ron's wallet. What are the odds? Hang on, let me see that for a minute. So that's why he's here, okay. I knew it. Jesse's picture is in there. So he must have called her and said he'd be over with it. And... Uh. Hey, Nick, it's not what you're thinking at all. No, and it's not on my side either, so don't worry about it. We can take our collective dicks and just move on. No way, man. I mean, she's a married woman. That's just bad news. Ooh, well... You said you found it at your job, right? Yeah. What did I tell you? I, oh my freaking god. He is a security guard. 